of you know, I am a Harry Potter fan. I got a few wands, tried pumpkin juice, and of course, collect the dolls. Today, we are adding to our collection. I finally bought all of the Yule Ball dolls on Amazon. Yule Ball doll, try saying that 10 times fast. Here is Cho Chang, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, and Harry Potter. When I bought all of these on Amazon, they were about $14.99 each. I love that they are adding new characters. It would have been so cool if they made Ron and Harry's dates. Ugh. In this series, everyone is pretty fancy. Just looking at the box, I'm seeing some pretty cool details like lace and faux buttons. On the back of the box, there is a picture of each character and a little information on the side. Ron Weasley may not be competing in the Triwizard Tournament, but he will have to face the challenges of disastrous hand-me-down dress robes and Hermione Granger dancing with Victor Crumb at the Yule Ball. I don't see anything wrong with hand-me-downs. Just call it vintage. At the bottom of the box, you can see the other dolls in the collection. Let's take Ron out of the box for a closer look. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Out of the box, Ron is getting older, so we do see a new hairstyle. When compared to the first wave, the hair color is different. The face looks a little different. His smile goes up a little bit more and it's on the opposite side. But they appear to be the same height. They added a lot of texture to his hair. He wears a dark brown robe with a floral print, pink lace around the lapels, and the cuffs. The pattern is continued onto the back. The robes are removable. They are not attached to the shirt. Yes, two separate pieces. If we can ever get it past his hand. Underneath, he has a light taupe shirt with a vest, ruffles at the neck, a bow tie, a wide collar, faux buttons going down the front. The shirt and vest are all one piece and Velcro in the back. He has dark espresso brown pants, black shoes with a little lift. He comes with a plastic invitation for the Yule Ball and it's pretty easy to balance him to stand on his own. Here's Hermione. While helping Harry Potter tackle the daring feats of the Triwizard Tournament, Hermione Granger unwittingly earns the affections of Victor Crumb. A Triwizard Champion who escorts Hermione to the Yule Ball, much to the chagrin of Ron Weasley. Out of the box, I could not get her to balance to stand. She wears her hair in an updo with a couple tendrils hanging down, an ombre dress with sheer ruffles at the sleeves, a ribbon bow around the waist, and layers of ruffles that go all the way to the floor. The dress is all one piece and Velcro's in the back. She wears pink heels, so you're gonna get a little added height there. She has pink flower earrings and comes with an invitation. On the back of Cho's box, I don't have a description. Out of the box, she also wears her hair in an updo, has gold colored earrings, wears a pale teal dress with a floral print, pink trim, wide sleeves, the same shoes as Hermione in silver, and a Yule Ball invitation. Harry Potter is competing in the dangerous Triwizard Tournament, but his greatest challenge may be learning to dance and finding a partner for the traditional Yule Ball. Harry is dressed to the nines, wearing a black robe with satin lapels and cuffs. It is removable. He wears a long sleeve white shirt and satin vest underneath with a white ribbon bow tie, black pants, and the same black shoes as Ron. He does have a different face sculpt than the series one Harry Potter. His hair is different and it's lighter. He has the same glasses, his iconic scar. He does look taller than this one. I can't tell if it's the shoes or if the doll is actually slightly taller. Just remove their shoes. Because I gotta know, and they look about the 
same? No, this one still looks a little taller. Okay. It is easy to balance him to stand. He comes with the invitation for the Yule Ball. All of these dolls are fully articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. Gotta give a thumbs up to Mattel. I love how the dolls are changing from book to book. We can actually see them starting to grow up a little. They are fully articulated and there's a nice amount of detail in their fashion. While on Amazon, I also picked up Triwizard Tournament Harry Potter, Triwizard Tournament Cedric Diggory, and Hagrid. I got all of these dolls for $19.99 each. First, let's take a look at Cedric, played by Rob Pattinson, who's now shown up in two collections of Mattel dolls. You have the Twilight series and now Harry Potter. On the back of the box, there is a picture of Harry and Cedric. Right underneath it says, When three wizarding schools come together to compete in the Triwizard Tournament, Harry Potter and Cedric Diggory are chosen to represent Hogwarts. The dangerous competition will test the limits of their skills and have them risking their lives to win. The same text is on the back of both boxes. The inside of the box shows a scene from the tournament. Out of the box, the doll looks a little like the actor. He has sculpted hair, wears a black robe with a mesh lining in the hood, stripes down both sides, a printed crest on the chest, and it does lace in the front. I don't know if you can actually see that. He comes with a wand. The back of his robe has his name. He wears a yellow and a greenish gray shirt underneath. It velcros in the back. He has black pants, black shoes, and he comes with the Tri-Wizard Cup. Lots of fun details here. Tri-Wizard Tournament Harry Potter wears a red and black hoodie with lacing in the front. There is a yellow and red striped ribbon going down the sleeves on both sides. The hood is lined with a red mesh and it says Potter in the back. It opens with Velcro. He wears a red and black long sleeve t-shirt underneath, black pants, and the same black shoes. He comes with a wand, his black glasses, and the egg from the tournament. It has three gold pieces on the outside and is an iridescent pearly white on the inside. Harry and Cedric are about the same height. I would have loved to have seen a taller Cedric. Triwizard Tournament Harry and Yule Ball Harry have the same face sculpts. These dolls are standing around 10 and a half inches tall. Speaking of height, let's take a look at Hagrid. On the back of the box, Hagrid is shown with Wave 1 Harry Potter dolls, and it says, Rubius Hagrid is the keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. A half-giant with a fondness for magical creatures, Hagrid's loyal and gentle spirit makes him one of Harry Potter's greatest allies. Out of the box, he stands about 12 inches tall, making him about the height of your average Ken doll. He has rooted curly hair. The beard is sculpted. You can actually see underneath it just a little bit. It doesn't stop him from turning his head from side to side. His top is kind of fuzzy. It feels like a faux suede on the sleeves, sewn to a faux fur vest with a belt attached at the waist. The belt doesn't go all the way around. It appears to be sewn into the side of the top. His pants do go all the way up to his chest, and we can see that he has a different body type than most Ken dolls. He has very large shoes. Let's see, does he have large feet? Nope, they are about the same size as your average Ken foot. The shoe is just gigantic. They are brown and help him to stand on his own. I am a big fan of dolls that can stand on their own. It comes with a dragon hatching out of an egg. Cute little baby dragon. So the dolls are not exactly to scale, but Hagrid is taller than Harry and Cedric. In my opinion, the Harry Potter dolls are pretty well done, especially for a $20 and under price point. 
every doll is fully articulated, and with Hagrid, we get a new body type. If you are a Harry Potter fan, this line is definitely something to look into. If you are a doll collector, there is a lot of value in their outfits and articulation. Just for fun, I also ordered this bendable, posable Dobby. He was $7.99. He's totally not to scale, but he's bendable. Look at that! Just like a Gumby. Can't really bend his torso or his head. It's mainly just his arms and his legs. Whoa, sorry about that. We'll do that way. Lots of little factory holes on the back, but the sculpt is pretty cool and he's got some really good shading. We are totally going to keep him with our Harry Potter dolls. And he can stand. What? Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Harry Potter dolls. Let us know in the comments down below if you think these dolls are a buy or a pass. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time.